we sound a little bit weird this week. We both yeah, we've both been down with COVID. COVID, for the last yeah. Two weeks. Yes, managed to avoid it for two and a half, two and a half years. years. Yeah, and bang, just out of the blue. Yeah. You came, just for six. You came down with it first, didn't you? Yeah. And uh, me being a superhero, <clears throat> continued another five or six days, convinced, oh, yeah. convinced I was immune to it. <laughs> and uh, woke up a little bit snuffly last Friday. Friday. Yeah, so I'm on my sixth day, sixth, sixth seventh day. Yeah. Um, and I, I was actually filming a big DIY project that I can't actually tell you about um, but going downhill quick on the Friday I did tell him yeah so Saturday um, l luckily this is well this is dragged on for a week <laughs> and a bit longer with you I only had one real bad day which mm. was the Saturday and god Jesus Not reminded me to bed yeah yeah reminded me of a childhood illness um, yeah just spent all day just in and out of in and out of bed and, and we've been quarantined to the boat both of yeah us. yeah so you can imagine can't you <laughs> ladies yeah so we've had some quality time yeah. quality time yeah but hey ho we're we're alive and kicking That's yeah and we're on the mend yeah yes so, and also apologies i need I'm, debbie needs a haircut as well so mm. yeah be me too yeah, me too. yeah so um but here we are. Yeah. Um, um, I think we left, yeah. the, left the lark. In the last video, yeah. Yeah. And we're heading to the Little Oos, which takes us to Brandon. Um, and supposedly an absolutely gorgeous little... Well, you'll see. Yeah. Where we're heading? Uh, that way, Brandon <laughs> Creek. <laughs> yeah, so we're just turning off of the uh, River Great Ooze. Onto the Little Ooze. Yeah, which will take us all the way down to... Brandon. Yeah, and we've been advised not to go through the lock. Yeah. Um, just get get to Brandon, uh, turn around there and come back. You've done a canal plan? It's 12 miles, seven and three quarter furlongs. Four yeah. hours and 19 minutes And I think there's, there's one Goba mooring halfway down and then there's an EA mooring at the lock when we get there. Mm -hmm. So join Watch us on the way space. down there. Yeah. We're halfway to uh, Brandon. We've just had two uh, fighter jets go over, which Deb gets all excited about when she sees the old flyboys. Um, now, in the distance, this doesn't look too good. This is going to be in the area um, of sort of Milden Hall. Right, bit of a dilemma. The, um, the next set of moorings are wherever that fire is. You can now begin to taste something in the air. Although we've got a little bit of width on this river, I've tried to turn around, but the weed is just so thick, so we can't get turned around. So unfortunately, we've got to head um, towards whatever that fire is. There are some moorings there at Brandon. I don't think We'll be staying there. Um, we're going to be shutting the windows soon. I'm just worried about whatever is in the air coming in the boat and breathing all that in. Prop just keeps getting fouled up with the blanket weed, keep grinding to a halt. It's that thick you could nearly walk across it. We're not going to Brandon, my darling. No. <laughs> Man managed to get turned. Wow. 
Um, that that is. Our temperature's it, never been this high on the engine. Been revving, revving the guts out. It's just pulling, just so much blanket weed caught in the long, tangly weed. I don't know what the proper name for that weed no. is, but it's just like soup. Yeah. Horrid. So we're probably we was probably about forty-five minutes from Brandon, if, yeah. if that. Yeah. I just didn't uh, well, go any further. Risk. Not not with that fire there. Anyway, you don't know what toxic fumes will be uh, breathing in. So it was this last, probably this last mile, which has been bad. So yeah. once once we get back through this, um, I might have to go down in the weed hatch. I got my, um, Deb's now gonna show you. I got my thing out, which makes, <laughs> Deb gets all excited because she <laughs> says, I, I look like Aqua Aquaman when I've got this out. If she, if she managed to pick it up. It's a lethal weapon. Yeah, so. Uh, chopping away at all the weed around the, the rudder with that um, but that blanket weed I remember when we had had the pond uh, in the house you'd, you'd get a stick and you just wind it wind it around the blanket weed and it was just like well if you ever got a wad of cotton wool and stuck that in a bowl of water and then tried to pull it apart it's very hard uh, for some reason it just does knit together um, and that, that's horrible stuff. Yeah. yeah, so what's the time now, Deborah? Oh, the time now is 3.30. So three and a half hours to get down <laughs> here. So we're now three and a half hours to go get back. Yeah. The only place we could find to put the dogs off, we managed to get the bow near the bank and throw them about two metres off. And then <laughs> I had, had the dilemma, I had to jump off and uh, try and get them back on. So. They've put, had a wee. Yeah, I'm going to put, put the camera down, concentrate on what I'm doing, hopefully get back to clearer waters. Let me come out into the outdoors again. Oh, oh, oh there's a unicorn floating. Um, right, sun's in my face. We're at the Gober Moorings. Let me move down so you can actually see me. Yeah, we're at the Gober Moorings, which were halfway down here. We set off this morning at 12 o'clock. It's now half past five, so we nearly got to Brandon, got stuck, turn around, come back. Just gone into the weed hatch. There was some sort of hessian sack wrapped around um, the shaft of the propeller, which had then obviously attracted and wove and all the blanket weed, but it's all clear now. So hopefully you'll be able to see, see in there. Um, yeah, nice clean propeller shaft. Yeah, so we'll, she'll spend the night here and then tomorrow go back onto the Great Ooze, go along and then head down the River Wissy. But I don't know whether we get to the end, if that's as weedy as this was, we, we might even have bought that, but we shall see when we get there. So as you can see, it wasn't all fun and games. Um, the well, first of all, the fire. Um, yeah, we we was well. I was convinced that one of those jets had gone down. The um the the, the amount of and the denseness of the smoke from where we were, it it was it was quite scary because I thought to myself, oh my god, what what is that? And we're facing in the direction of uh, RF Lake and Heath and RF Mildenhall. Yeah. Twix the two. Yeah, so a lot of, you, lot of activity, um, aircraft activity in those areas. Yeah. And you, you just tend to think the worst. You do. And and going down, we met a couple of, sort of there were some people on the bank, did they know? And they said no. Um, and there weren't anything on the news, was there? No, Nothing no. on social media or anything. So we carried on going. Um, 
but then we got stopped with oh, oh yeah the blanket that weed was um, a nightmare. I didn't actually I wasn't actually filming at the point we stopped but it stalled the it stalled it, stalled the engine it just, it just stopped yeah it just wrapped <laughs> that much around and but then, the thing is we stopped and then it was like right okay we've stopped we couldn't go backwards we couldn't go forwards we couldn't go side it was like what are we going to do yeah. uh, it, it was quite sort of like a stressful time i, I think so i mean it took yeah, us a while yeah, to yeah. and we're we're talking uh, i think this around about july the 13th so we're we're back in the the peak of our our summer the heat heat yeah, wave it was and... it was absolutely baking yeah but it, it was yeah. uh, you you done it though didn't you? Yes. After, I think it took about twenty five minutes to to eventually yeah. get it cleared and then find a, a point in the river yeah. that we could actually turn round. Yeah. Um, it was... Although the the river was wide enough to turn round, it was like the the ten foot from either bank was just chock a block with the weed. So yeah, the bow end was getting stuck in at the uh, stern. <laughs> to be road. fair, I was glad to get off there. To yeah, be fair. Yes, yeah. I mean, we that's one that we've got to do again yes, because obviously yeah, we the weed get, isn't always there, no, is it? No, but um, I can't remember whether I mentioned it in the video. I think we was we was planning to go up to the lock. Somebody said don't go through the lock because there's not much after. We wouldn't have got through the lock, I believe. And if anybody knows differently, you can put it in the comments below. I believe it's only a forty foot lock. And we're oh. we're a sixty foot boat, so yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't have no. wouldn't have got through Brandon Lock. And as you could see at the um, like the little video at the end showed you, it was a um, an industrial unit. Yes, that yeah. had got a lot. I mean, it did make the news in the end. Yes, yeah. Um, well, you, you say in the end, late later that day, all the local newses were covering it. I think it was on national news. They had sixty five fighters from mm -hmm. twelve. Um, different firefighting crews. Yeah, took them um, a while they, they to put from, it out. Yeah, from Berry, Thetford, all all, all mm, around the area. Yeah. It's a really big fire. Uh, yeah. And, so. uh, as as far as I'm aware, nobody no, nobody was yeah, hurt. I was thinking yeah. to say that. Yeah, yeah. which nobody is all, was always, hurt, the, so always the main thing. thing yeah. 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 Apologise that this video is only short. Um, the next leg where we go down the River Wissy. I actually added on to this video, but it just dragged it on too long. I think he was making a lot of 35, 40 minute videos. So. And we didn't want to bore you. No, no. <laughs> next week's next week's video will be uh, the, the normal length. So this is a little bit shorter than normal. But. And this is a little bit later than normal. It should have yes, gone out last so week, sorry. but just weren't, so weren't feeling up to it. Like, no, no. We've, I've we've even, been off, been, even been off my beer. He has. Yeah. He's been drinking tea. He actually, I just said to him, do you want a cup of tea? And he went, no, I'm going to have a beer. I nearly fell over. Yeah, first one all week. So Luck, yeah. luckily, my, t my taste hasn't no, been affected. Wood. Yeah, no. neither of us, which is brilliant. No. And uh, although I sound bunged up, I can breathe no. perfectly through my nose, which is a bit annoying. It just feels like we've got a bad cold now, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, sort just be bit, glad to... Be uh, chesty and out of breath. Yeah, just glad to test uh, negative and get back to normal. Yeah, would be nice. Yeah, so I think that's about it, sweetheart. Yeah, that's en yeah. enough from us from this week. Um, big, big thank you to Laurie yeah, over thank on you, Laurie. Uh, Buy Me A Coffee, as you know that I've edited, edited to buy me a beer. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much. And thank you to all our other supporters yes, over on thank Patreon, you so much. PayPal, all the other platforms. Uh, you make this journey a lot easier for us with your, your help. Um, yes. Press the like button. Like button, yeah. We, we keep forgetting the like button. Yeah. yeah, if you've enjoyed this little video. Press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed. Press the subscribe button. If you want future notifications of any other videos we upload. The bell icon. And keep the come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. We do apologise. You, you, know, you know what <laughs> Bear you with know us. what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Normal service will resume shortly. Uh -oh.